Bobby. Milton. Good boy. Good boy, Milton. Oh, good boy. Good boy, Tinkus. Morning, guys. I am up. I am Adam. I am on my way to the gym. I am not wearing this past weekend's makeup. Um, I'll go ahead and put a picture up. <laughs> I went out on Friday, but alas, I have taken it off. However, I have maintained the hairstyle. Look at what we got going on here, right? <laughs> right? Uh, I am feeling good this morning. I'm feeling great this morning. You know why? Because guys, like, you know how it's like whenever I need my Zip Fizz bottle opener, it's always in the opposite place I need it. If I'm in my car, it's in my house. If I'm in my house, it's in my car. Well, I got a package this past week from my good friend, Keto Colin, and the note read, one for your car, one for your home. And he sent me a bottle opener. This bottle opener that I have right here, I also got one in my house. I saw it in my house and I was gonna grab it on the way out. I was like, I can't forget this. And I was like, oh my God, there's already one in my car because Colin bought me an extra one. Like, I just don't even know what to say. Like, oh, you like your guys' thoughtfulness just, just, just never ceases to amaze me. I appreciate that so much. So now we can get into Zip Fizz. I'm also excited because even though we have fruit punch today because that's all I have left. Look what came in the mail. Woo. So you guys, I don't just talk about it. I be about it, right? So in here we got pink lemonade, we got black cherry, and we got, I think it's a blue raspberry. Either way, Zip Fizz Roulette returns next week and I'm very excited. So let's start the day off with a fruit punch. Oh yeah. <laughs> it just works like a charm. All right, get ready to shake it in three, two, one. To a great day, to a great week. Morning guys, I am leaving the gym. I am still glistening if you can't tell. I got in a great workout. Still the same thing, still incline treadmill, but today I increased my incline, my starting incline to four. So now, as soon as I hop on the treadmill, I just set it to a 3.1 and I automatically take it to an incline of four degrees, four percent at four units, uh, whatever that is. So I, w I walked on four, uh, for like 30 minutes and then I moved it up to six till 35 minutes and then from 35 to 40 minutes I increased it one percent one unit <laughs> I increased it one time every minute so by the final minute I was walking at 11 and you bet I was pumping them arms I was breathing out I was doing them labor breathes like <sighs> like I mean I was working hard you don't gotta run to get a good workout, okay? Like, just get on that incline and don't hold on to the bars, you guys. Like, I held on to see my heart rate, but like, pump your arms. That's gonna put so much more effort into your workout. So I would rather you pump your arms and walk at a lower incline than like be tilted all the way up to a million, but just holding on. Like, you gotta put your full body effort into it and that pays off. This week for meal prep, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am moving away from eggs, bacon, and sausage. Not because I don't love it, but if we're like being totally transparent, I've been having some bathroom issues for the past couple weeks. And part of me always gets kind of nervous, like, oh my God, is it complications for my Crohn's? Like what's happening? But then also part of me is like, you know, what have I been eating? What has changed? And I'm, you know, the main component is eggs. I've been going hard on eggs and I know that eggs can cause people problems. So I was just like, hmm maybe I hate this but maybe I'm going to lay off the eggs for this week and see what happens I already have a doctor's appointment just because like I'm not taking no chances or whatever but the thing is if I lay off eggs this week and like things get back together at least I'll be able to say okay things are normal it's just I got a problem with eggs now will I stop eating them no <laughs> will I deal with the consequences yes but at least I'll know that's the source of it and that nothing else is going on so that means 
means that today I am making taco bowl so that I can specifically use the twisty choppy thingy that Heartstrings Keto got me last week. Um, a lot of people call it the spatulator. Like that's amazing. Like all these things are amazing. So I am making ground beef taco bowls this week uh, and I'm making a crock pot dish. I am going to try chicken. I don't have a recipe in mind. Like I'm going to Google one before I walk in and buy spices and whatnot, but I know that I'm getting me some chicken and I'm throwing it in a crock pot. I, I really like what was going on last week in terms of like the eating schedule that I put together. So I'm going to try to emulate that again and stick with total carbs. Total carbs are working great. They're making me feel great and it's still working and I'm still feeling great. I'm still lifting weights. I'm still, you know, just accomplishing things like uh, overall, I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good. You know the number one surefire way to feel good, you guys? Act in a way that is aligned with your goals and your true desires, okay? If you truly desire to eat on plan and you eat on plan, whoo, that just pumps you up. If you truly desire to get fit and you knock it out in the gym, there is just no other way to feel but great, you know? Yeah, the weather's gloomy. It's getting hot outside. Y'all can tell I don't have my hoodie on. Like. Things are always going to be going on around you, but if you are meeting the goals that you set for yourself, you will always feel in a good mood. So that's my lesson for the day. Let's get to the store and let's get this meal prep on. Let go. guys I put a pin in meal prep firstly because I need to go to the shop to do some work secondly because I don't know what else I have to make uh, so you saw I got that cracked chicken in the crock pot and I used my twisty choppy thing to make my taco meat now I'm trying to think like what else do I have to cook so after I get home from the shop I am going to calculate my macros to see like what else I need to make uh, but right now I'm just gonna get a couple hours of work done the weather has turned to garbage so I'm anxious to get out and get my work done and then get back home so I don't have to leave for the rest of the day coming soon we're having our we're kicking off our own series y'all seen all y'all seen our mother now it's time to meet twin sis oh my god in full like full exposure so oh we're gonna be god. doing no no exposure right. <laughs> no to okay, exposure maybe not to exposure but we no. will be coming to you with some greatness yes very soon yes so, happy um. sunday people Okay guys, so I am done with meal prep. I ended up staying at the shop a lot longer than I wanted to, 
but it's okay. I have everything done, but I will tell you, I have not yet calculated my macros, so I don't know what all I'm eating, but here's the plan. Meal number one, we have that cracked chicken, like, ugh, it is so delicious. Basically just chicken and cream cheese and a bunch of spices, and it is delicious. I also have some bacon to go on top of that and some green onion. And then for a snack, I have those Cracker Barrel cheese sticks and some uncured pepperoni. I'm thinking, you guys, this week I might make some mason jar ice cream. So I have some heavy whipping cream. I might put a half portion of chocolate chips. And um, here's that sucralose sweetener that I use, as well as some peppermint extract. What? Some mint chocolate chip? What? Uh, and then for my second meal, we are making taco bowls. You saw that I used the twisty choppy thingy to ground up my hamburger meat and it was amazing. So we have the meat here. I have the four cheese uh, Mexican blend. I have some jalapenos. I have some shredded lettuce. And then I have some Quest chips. A lot of people ask me where I get these Quest chips. I've actually linked them down in my Amazon store. So that link is in the description below. Feel free to get that and a bunch of all of my other favorites in my Amazon store. Uh, we have some sour cream and we have that fire sauce. Woo, that is delicious. For desserts, I have my Jello, I have my Powerade Zero, and my ice drinks for drinks. And you guys, Zip Fizz Roulette is back in full effect. You see, we got some fruit punches here. We got some black cherry. We got some, which one is this? Oh, berry. Oh, I am very excited to try. I just randomly ordered that. Don't know what I was thinking, but hello. Uh, and then we have some of that pink lemonade, uh, which is bay. So I am very excited about everything and I'll be calculating my macros for my What I Eat Wednesday video to let you know exactly how much I'm eating this week. Overall, today was a very busy, but very good day. Uh, I'm excited to try this stuff. Some of the stuff I haven't tried before, so I'm excited to have it for meal prep. Uh, don't forget to watch my What I Eat Wednesday to see exactly how I put it all together. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly What I Eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week. Be a lady, mama, lady.